Hey little everybody, my name is Get Them Welcome back for another video of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Uh by simply going to talk with Pericles. Uh so oh no, his contact. Alright. I, I misread that boys. We're gonna talk to his contact. Um I guess that's about it right now. I wanna thank you guys so much for your support so far on uh, my channel and everything. I wanted to let you guys know that I've got monetization on now, so I've got a, I got approved. I can get uh, basically little payments of cents and stuff, so nothing really, uh, nothing really worth uh, big time so far. But you know, it's the beginning, and uh, I really want to thank you guys. That's all because of you. Of your support and stuff and I really like I really love you guys so I want I wanted to get uh, all of you know that and uh, aside from that I guess we're gonna continue this series and also yeah I also wanted to let you know guys that I am gonna put on all the series of NHL for now because I've got four games right now if you count the NHL series uh, I've got four games to play so I kind of want to be able to play uh, Assassin's Creed, finish it a little bit more, like a little bit quicker. Uh, since I've got Red Dead Redemption, I want to grind into Red Dead as well. It looks like a really fun game to play. And Assassin's Creed is really cool and all, but I feel like I, <laughs> I, feel like I don't want to play it as much as a Red Dead right now. So I really want to finish this as quick as possible. I can't do that. Well, I have so many games I gotta play, you know, so we gotta make, we gotta toss one of the, those games. It's gonna be NHL for now. We're gonna toss it away. We're gonna bring it back once we are at two games, like once we only have one game or one series yeah. remaining, which that's gonna be the case for maybe Spider-Man or something. Uh, I'm gonna finish Spider-Man pretty close, maybe one or two videos again. That's gonna be left for Spider-Man. For the new DLC and I think afterwards I might bring back NHL or I might not might just bring it back once we finish Assassin's Creed I'm not entirely sure boys we'll see how it goes let's just talk to uh, the Pericles contact I guess you must be the one Pericles sent I am he said there is an ostracism vote but didn't tell me what I'm here to do of course he didn't that's what I'm for what happens to the exiled I don't really, I don't really care about that. What gets you ostracized? I don't really care about that. Tell me what to do. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does, and he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room, and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Okay. We're going to cheat a little bit, boys. That's interesting. Reach the lowest, most building in the Agora. All right. Let's, let's, let us do that, boys. Monument of the Eponymous Heroes, I think. That's what it was called. So many things I just uncovered right there, even though I already went into this city. I think this is Aliens right now. Yeah, it is. We are in Aliens, boys. I, I don't even know what Aliens is supposed to be uh, look like in real life. Never really saw it up close or in photos or anything. So it's not, uh, it's all new to me, boys. Even if it's the in the past, it's all new to me. I knew what Rome was like or what this Italy looked like because well I went there in person, but never went into uh, to Greece. So I don't know anything about this. So now we're going to be, we're going to be a little bit more stealthy about this. Approach like there, boys. And this guy just decided that he. He wanted to fight us. He decided that he wanted to die today, so... Good for you, I guess, buddy. Good for you. Let me just break his shield. Nope. There's more than one guy, too. Huh. I'm level 25 right now. Looks like it's perfect for the mission that we are uh, right now doing. Don't know if I... I'm gonna probably have to grind this game. Which is exactly what I want. I don't really want to do, but... Like I, I love this game so much, but I d I'm not really want. I don't really want to focus on this game. That's the thing. I want to focus on other games instead. But if I have to, I will. 
feel like Assassin's Creed kind of came out at the wrong time, boys. It should have came out um, in another time, basically. I really feel like that's how it should have went. Should have came out um, maybe in September, not in September, maybe in July, something like that. It would have been pretty good since July day. It wasn't any game really. It also started in September like always. So if it, if they would have put like a game like this in July, all the attention would have been on this game, and there would have been another game really, another big game to counter that. But I don't know why every like for some reason everybody decides to do like. To bring out their game, their new games, on the same time at the same time as every other people. So I don't know. I don't know why, boys. I don't feel like that's really smart. Um, like to make money, I don't feel like that's really the smartest decision. But then again, I'm not a billionaire. I don't know. I might not know what I'm talking about. You know. Let's just do this and there we go we, we got everything done we're gonna steal everything for sure it's gonna be more money for us okay so i guess we just gotta go back now so we just gotta get out of here let's get out of here boys and be done with this mission all right i'm gonna talk to the contact again hopefully we can advance a lot in the mi in the story uh in this video I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. I don't even know why I called the, the my horse right here. I don't really need it. It's gonna follow me around though. Yeah, I don't really need my horse right now. That is one thing I really don't like in Red Dead though. The horse thing. The horse thing I really don't like. The system, how it works and, and everything. I absolutely hate it. Aside from that, the game looks awesome. But enough about Red Dead boys. We're playing Assassin's Creed. We gotta focus about Assassin's Creed. What's going on here? You started without me? Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with a boat. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Anaxagoras is to be ostracized. Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Wait. I know who he is. He's one of the best, he's one of the most, like, popular uh, philosophers of all time, boys. I don't know about you, but... <laughs> uh, he's a really big guy to encounter right here. Why would Pericles intervene? Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagora seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. Okay, what is your relation your relationship with Anaxagoras? What a goddamn name that is. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. All right. Who are you? Who are you, Ask bitch? anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are. And every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? I'm Alexios. Uh, I'm a mercenary. I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. 
Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Absolutely not. I do I'd do anything for the right price. Everything has a line they won't cross. No, I'd do everything for the right price. Everything has a price. And you're the one who decides when the pay is worth it. I don't have the luxury of turning down a job. What of duty, the greater good? Are they not their own kind of payment? Huh. The greater good can kiss my ass. They're not enough payment. They keep they no, they're not enough payment. No, they're not. It seems you know yourself well. But no, it is better to change one's thoughts than to persist in those that are wrong. My thoughts are fine. You are clearly someone who will do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I had to do it. I didn't do anything. I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? Life's one true happiness is knowing yourself. Even if I did know who rigged the ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Socrates, boys. He's gonna be in one of these little encounters in here. In a couple, couple years, or maybe a couple days, I don't know. But he's gonna be a victim of this, of this injustice, uh, way, way closer than he thinks he's gonna be, boys. But for now, we don't care about that. We are a mercenary. We don't have anything to do with that. So I'm gonna actually pay my my debts right here. Seems like uh, seems like I was in trouble right there. I don't know why exactly. Uh, quest. Let's see what we got. Odyssey. Yes, I guess we're going to do this mission. It's the only one we got to do, really. Pericles' Sempotion. So, Alexos was finally given access to Pericles' Fable Sempotion. He knew the other guests were his best chance for information about his missing mother. Reach Pericles' home. Alright, so we got to talk to Pericles, I guess. Let's look at our inventory. Just see what we got right here. So, we're going to dismantle everything. It gives us... It gives us this, which that is what uh, we exactly need for upgrading objects and stuff. We really need that to upgrade everything. Uh, anything else we can probably destroy or how's it going right now? It tells us that there's something new, but it are, okay, no, there isn't. Let me dismantle all of this, boys. Everything at a time. There we go, all the armor. Oh, there's more. I don't care about the armor as much. I really don't care about anything that's not like yellow. So basically legendary. Anything that's not legendary, I'm not keeping. I'm keeping everything that's legendary though. Because it's really important if I want to switch costumes and stuff. You never know, boys. Let me see right here. Nothing really. Alright, we're good, I think. Let's just go and uh, talk to yeah. Pericles, boys. We have arrived. One thing is for sure, boys, I hope someday or right now, maybe the closest, like, the closest possible time, I hope we can kill Pericles. I, I hope we can assassinate him. I really do, boys. This is my, my top priority is to be able to assassinate him. Alexios, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back, but I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. That's not good at all. How did you get here exactly? How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? 
Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I never expect, yeah, I never expected to see you here, that's for sure. Thought you would stay where I told you to stay, but oh well. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. Huh? Why do I have a ch uh, Why do I have to change? Why are you working for Aspasia exactly? How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. Why do I have to change exactly? I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... I actually do want to scare people. That's my job, you know. Uh, I don't know about you, Phoebe, but... Oh well, I'm ready to go in. I think I'm ready to go in. I don't like this. The Cut. thing, uh, if I like, gotta like change. Anyway, the Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. Yeah, the outfit. I will. I will change my clothes. I won't. No, I won't change my clothes. I won't. There's no way I'm wearing that. But if you don't. I mean it, Phoebe. You have to leave your weapons here, though. Fine. I'm not changing anything. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. I don't like this. I feel like I'm gonna get jumped. I got no weapons, boys. This is not good at all. Alright, Pericles. <laughs> or that's a Rododos, actually. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotos. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? Perhaps your individual fashion sense will get their memories working. Now then, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights today. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. Uh, that doesn't look very intellectual. It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermippus has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. 
I'm surprised Sercatis is here. Uh, he isn't so great. I'm not sure great is the term I would use. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Trasimachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. That the wind from his wild jest is him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Who the fuck are you? What? What is this, boys? <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? Party like this makes me want to... <laughs> Parties aren't my specialty. This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. Exactly. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. You should get out. Don't leave me alone. You should get going. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. They probably won't. But at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't do anything. Gather information about your mother. So I gotta talk to everyone, I guess. Just to know uh, if anybody uh, like knows anything. So this is Socrates right there, boys. I don't know what he's doing here. Um, obviously, he should be should be doing way like other stuff instead of uh, doing uh, throwing out parties, boys. He's got way more to worry about his future. It's just me, boys. But maybe you should do something else. How about you? You seem to know something. Amistios here. I suppose they've sent you to mock me for my fight with every Peavis. <laughs> that wasn't a fight. I'm looking for clues. You're a rich, arrogant ass. <laughs> that wasn't a fight. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Peavis. He's the second most worldly man here. That Pedicius, Xanthodontus, Exothalmic, more or so. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Let's get Erfidis drunk. So you want me to make you want to make a scene? You want to get every Peavis drunk? Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Peavis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. Um, why did Pericles invite you? Why are you upset about Eryphidides? I'm gonna ask these two questions. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Peavis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. 
Are you you're upset exactly? Up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. All right. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Okay, let's get some wine, I guess, boys. Interact. What about her? You. You shouldn't be in here. What do you want? I'm here for your dry wine. I'm here for your sweet wine. I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. There we go. Got some sweet wine. Interact with this, I guess. Olive oil. I don't know why I should need that. Alright, so where do I pick this exactly? Show nearby quests. So track quests. Uh, this guy right here. Alright, so let's get him drunk, boys. I miss the Osympatic Lisa's abode. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. You must have seen me doing my impression of Hermipos. I call it the dejected weasel. <laughs> Tell me, what does it think? Don't call me it. I have a name. I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need this to relax, man's pretty quiet. Fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. Your argument? Why did you help me first? I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? You should have a drink competition. I'm here to serve you? No. You should have a drinking competition. You and the Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every Pidis seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we Argives think. Drink up? Why, uh, why not talk to Sophocles? Why did Pericles invite you? I'm gonna say drink up. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? I want to see what he knows about my mother and my sister. This, this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the god. Another round. Uh, there we go. Ready for more? I don't care about any of the the other stuff. We want him to drink. That's it. I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could out drink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. All right, uh, drink another one. You ready for another? <laughs> this wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every penis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, 
I'm not sure she would trust priests. Uh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Okay, we got some information. Here I come. We got what we needed, boys. Return to Sophocles. There we go. We got what we needed. How's Eurypides? Drunk, I hope. Yeah, you there we go. Hiding in here. Every Pides won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Alright, boys. Drink up, the mission is done. All right, so can I talk to Pericles? I should probably be able to talk to him at this point. I did what I had to do. I got, I gathered the information I needed. He's upstairs, isn't he? Now let's throw the nearby quest. What are the quests exactly? Let me see really quick. It's gonna spawn in a minute. There we go. So Earl and Love get information about Alkif Biades. Gather information about your mother, huh? I could do that right here. It's 15. It's right there. Is there more I can do? There's probably more I can. I have to do right. Yeah, I have to do gather a lot of information, boys. Let's talk to this guy. All right, boys. Having a. Don't mind her. She likes to watch. Well, look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? No. Sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. Bruh, what is this? I'm looking for someone. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. I really doubt she's she in here. In there. I think I'll check all the same. Here's your oil. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons. And these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us um how about how about i'm only here for information all right i'm not about that now it's time hold for on you now to help me ali i'm looking for someone all business right until the end i like that focus i'm looking for a woman who fled sparta a long long time ago fled sparta no one flees sparta but uh, let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. You must mean the Etere. The Etera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth. But I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! 
Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Well, we should have started to talk to him a long time ago, boys. He gave us a lot of answers, actually. We just leveled up to 26, too. That's really good. Got an ability. Anything else we gotta do now? Huh. Let me see right here. There is actually one last mission we gotta do. It's Socrates. Alright, before we do that, I do want to look at um, my abilities because uh, we, did, we did just level up. So I might just upgrade the second win. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the second win thing. So I can get more more health every time I do that all right boys let's talk to Socrates I admit I'm surprised to see you here but everything has a price as you said I can't help but wonder what price you paid to gain entry to the symposium keep wondering you really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued it can't be that important if you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of Brutus. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building not the builder then is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler don't be absurd rulers are unjust this is a waste of time i don't have time for philosophy philosophy buddy this i really don't between you two is pointless perhaps how do you define art i'm not getting dragged into this very well answer this does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasima says. If you say so. Aspasia. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. That wasn't me. You've been spying on me. I did what was necessary. I I'm gonna lie and say that wasn't me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we have to to survive, and there's no shame in that, believe me. Hm. You make an interesting choice, Alexios, in not dressing to fit in. Fit in? Fancy clothes wouldn't help me fit in. Your Athenian hitons are strange to me. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. 
If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for my brother. I'm trailing a, a woman. I'm trailing a woman. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathe there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now, the fig tells me that is my mother, the one with the sea, uh, that's on the sea. And if it's not, then she might do a really excellent youth for me. Talk to Pericles. I'll do that, boys. We gotta talk to him. Let's go talk to him. On the, until I, I leave this place, boys, I'm not gonna end the video, alright? I might actually just end up doing a one hour video for this one. So I really want to finish this game, boys. Or like, be it as quickly, like doing a lot longer videos just because I've got a lot of games come, uh, like, not coming in, but a lot of games I gotta play. So let's talk to Pericles. Can we just kill him already? We don't need it anymore. Alexios. I don't recall sending for you, Miss Theos. Phoebe shouldn't have let you in here. Aspasias, Aspasia sent me. Don't blame Phoebe. Stop being, stop hiding from your guest. You've been hiding from your guest long enough. Aspasia seems to think so too. Ah, uh, she usually does. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodotus and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Why did you want Phidias uh, uh, to escape? Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but one day when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I'm pretty sure I, I'll, I never will. Uh, why did you ostracize your own friend? Why would you send Mysticio somewhere? You know what? I don't, I don't care. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. <laughs> you shouldn't worry about the cult, buddy. You should worry about me. I'm the danger here. You should take this threat seriously. I'd be worried about Athens too. The Spartans no. aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming. And they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members. And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. I want to kill him. I want to kill him though, boys. 
Leave the symposium. What if I want to kill him? He's on top right here. Can I jump or something? I can't jump. This is garbage. This is not good, boys. I wanted to kill him. When am I? I'm, I'm pretty sure sometime we're going to have to kill him. Why not today? Why not right now? We got to do it. I want the Spartans to have addings, boys. I want the Spartans to win. Tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I'm ready to go. I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. I what never will. Stop saying I will. I'm going to Kios. I think I'm going to go to Kios, boys. This There's is the most interesting the one. Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia about Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think my friend the blood fever? Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay. okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. I I won't. I won't go to Kefalonia. Uh, I won't go until uh, unless it's a secondary mission uh, that I gotta do. I I won't go. So don't keep your heights up. <laughs> don't do it. Because I won't. Not going to beg to come along this time. Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. As long as that mission doesn't get her killed. Bye, Alexios. Fine, I guess. Something's gonna get her killed. She's gonna die. You already know she's gonna die, boys. Pericles' Samposium. I want to kill him so bad, but I guess I can't. He's like invincible to being killed right now, I guess. As long as I can't kill him, he's immortal in the game. So, new quest. What is it? What's the new quest? Ooh, boy. All right. We've got a lot of missions, boys. So, what's the one with... um? What's the one that's in Kios? Meet the pirate. Yeah, I want to meet the pirate. All right. So, this is the one I want to do first. Um, I guess. Where is it exactly? It's... Where is it? Huh. Kios. Where would Kios be, boys? I really don't know. There's a lot of battles I have to do. We're getting pretty close here, boys. We gotta actually look for her. We are in the island of Kios. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be our mother. Unless, like, I'm seriously mistaken. I might be mistaken. We never know. But I got a feeling this is her. Like, of all the people, this huh. looks like the, the best option. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and talk to her directly. I don't have to kill everybody that's in here. I don't have to kill our pirates, you know. She, If they work for her, you never know. So I'm just gonna enter the temple as if it was nothing. Let's just talk to her. have mercy you want mercy <coughs> those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from get this scum out of my sight <coughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I need information. I was told you're a trader of information. <laughs> Among other things, yes. I'm looking for someone. 
Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? My mother, you don't need to know. A criminal. You know what? A criminal. She's a criminal who fled Sparta many years ago. I was hired to bring her back. I see. So, she's dangerous? To you? I don't think anyone is dangerous. If only that were true. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Huh, that's easy. I've got all the money in the world. Yeah, right here. here. Yeah, there we go. That me. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen thousand is a lot, but I've got a lot of money, boys. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Really? Your Marini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Where is she exactly? Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. All right. Why did she leave? How did you meet her exactly? Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. All right. So I have what I need. Thank you isn't the place it's the people you're with if you don't find what you're looking for there's a place for you here all right Xenia drachma the there we go that's name. done a chest full of drachma boys fine and acquire the nation chest why would i do that what does it do to me i guess i'll do it boys i don't know why i would like now i'm welcome here at least I'm not a criminal. I'm welcomed here, so that's really cool. Um, find and acquire the nation chest. I don't know why I would have to do that specifically, but... Uh, I don't know, boys. We'll see eventually. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, hang on. What do I have to... Do? What, what are the actual missions right here? Do not harm her. So, what's the missions, really? There's a lot of missions right here. Look at this. These are for the eyes of Cosmos, so the cultists. So, first do not harm. Do I have to talk to everyone? Because I already got some information of where she could be. And what's exactly the mission I just equipped? What is this? Orissa's fort contained a large shop pile of dragon that Xenia needed stolen. Uh, the loss of car uh, coffers would weaken the loss of leader of Kios significantly. Why would I do that though? Hmm. Why do why would I do that? The pirates. So this basically there's pirate islands too. That's interesting, boys. Don't think I need to I don't know. I think I'm just gonna end the video right here. I gotta probably talk to a lot of people, to all of them. Probably have to talk to all of them, boys, all the 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 people uh that they're, they're telling me to talk to, so 
I'll do that in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.